Hi everyone, welcome to Apple Tech page. In this tutorial, I will show you how to fix iPhone calls not available. Your iPhone must be signed in with the same Apple ID for FaceTime and iCloud to make phone calls from this iPad after iOS update. Make sure that your iPhone is signed into iCloud account and you have used the same iCloud Apple ID for FaceTime. Then your iPad also sign in with the same iCloud Apple ID. Your iPhone and iPad should be connected to the same Wi-Fi network or Ethernet. Solution 1 is Turn on Allow Calls on other devices. Go to Settings app on your iPhone. Next, scroll down the screen and tap on Phone. Here, tap on Calls on other devices. Now turn on Allow Calls on other devices. If this turned on already, turn off and on it. Solution 2 is Turn on Calls from my phone. Open Settings app on your iPad. Next, find and tap on FaceTime. Then turn on Calls from my phone. If this option is turned on already, turn off it and restart your iPad and turn on this option again. On your Mac, open FaceTime. Next, select FaceTime menu and click on Preferences. Select Settings tab, then check the box for Allow Calls from my phone. Solution 3 is Enable and disable airplane mode on your both iPhone and iPad. Go to settings app. Now enable airplane mode and wait for 30 seconds. Next, disable airplane mode again. Solution 4 is restart your both iPhone and iPad. To do this, go to settings app. Next, find and tap on General. Now scroll down the screen to bottom and tap on Shutdown. Then drag the slide to power off slider to turn off your device. Wait for a few seconds and turn on your device again. Solution 5 is Sign out of your iCloud account and sign in back on both iPhone and iPad. To do this, go to Settings app. Next, tap on your name. Now scroll down the screen to bottom and tap Sign out. Next, enter your Apple ID password and tap Turn off. If you want to keep a copy of your data on this iPhone, turn on them. Next, tap Sign out at right top of the screen. And again tap sign out in the pop-up window. Wait for a few seconds and sign back into iCloud account. Solution 6 is Reset network settings on your iPhone and iPad. Reset network settings resets your connected Wi-Fi networks and passwords, APN and VPN settings and cellular settings. Go to settings app. Next, find and tap on General. Now scroll down the screen to bottom and tap on Reset. Here, tap on Reset Network Settings. Then enter your device's passcode. Again, tap on Reset Network Settings in the pop up window to confirm this process. Solution 7 is Force restart your iPhone and iPad. If you are using iPhone 8 and later models or iPad without home button, then do the following steps to force restart. First, quickly press and release the volume up button. Next, quickly press and release the volume down button. 
Finally, press and hold the side or power button until you see the Apple logo. If you are using iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, then do the following steps. Press and hold the sleep or wake button and volume down button at the same time until you see the Apple logo on your iPhone screen. If you are using iPhone 6s Plus and earlier models or iPad with home button, then do the following steps. Press and hold the home button and side or power button at the same time until you see the Apple logo. Solution 8 is Update career settings for iPhone and iPad. Make sure that your devices are connected to the internet. Once connected, go to settings app. Next, scroll down the screen and tap on general. Now tap on about. If career setting update is available, tap update in the pop-up window. Solution 9 is check for software update. Make sure that your iPhone and iPad are running with the latest version of iOS. If not, then update them. To check that, go to settings app. Next, tap on general. Here, tap on software update. If new version update is available, tap download and install. Thanks for watching. Do like, share and subscribe to Apple Tech page.